Hello, hello guys, happy Friday. Greetings from an overcast Friday in New York. I said Friday twice. My brain is tired today. I'm kind of on, an, a little, on a little bit of an emotional burnout for multiple reasons of which I don't feel comfortable getting into right now. Sorry, sorry for vague booking, <laughs> vague tubing. Um, I'm looking at the ducks right now. There is still that abandoned egg situation, but that's life, that's nature, right? I'm mourning the passing of Grumpy Cat today. That actually made me cry this morning. I just love animals. I mean, honest to God, I love animals way more than people. I just, I don't know. I remember when I was a little kid, my, my dad used to actually get mad at me for that. He'd be like, you know, why are you crying because a dog or a horse died in a movie? Look at all the people that just got shot. And I'm like, but the dog and the horse, you know. Anywho, I'm out and about right now. I'm getting ready to leave my driveway. Pop in some laundry, pop by the post office, get on over a couple towns away to my mammogram appointment and my two different, you know, what are they called? Ultrasound images. And then I have to get back over to this neck of the woods to work at three. I didn't go to work yesterday. Yesterday I spent mulling things over and ruminating and obsessing and pretty much staying in bed. Um, yeah, there's so much talk about mental illness right now on the internet and the words depression and anxiety get bandied about so casually, but so it's, um, it almost feels silly for me to like use the word depression, but I do suffer from depression genuinely and I am getting help, but I can't see my therapist for another week. So, um, I'm not in any kind of like danger or anything. I just needed very badly to isolate and hibernate yesterday. Um, it's not good for me to work a long day every day. I know I need it for the money and blah, blah. But at this point in the game, it's like I'm so used to being broke constantly and juggling, juggling, juggling that it's like it doesn't seem to do anything when I work a lot anyway because there's just always another bill. I still haven't gone grocery shopping yet. Um, there's a lot of things I have to cancel. I want to cancel my cable. I want to cancel my Amazon Prime. I want to cancel my Glam Box, you know, my, what do you call it, Ipsy. All those things add up, you know. And then hopefully this week I'm also going to pay off one of my smaller credit card bills. I think it's for the Avenue. But I'm still like 20k in debt. And I make like 18k a year. So you do the math. And you all know what I pay for rent. So, But the cable is just ridiculous. It honestly is. Because all I really need is Wi-Fi. Because I barely ever watch TV. And I only need my HBO for Game of Thrones. And the last episode is this coming Sunday, I believe. Or second to the last. I don't know. Anyway, it's late. I should shut up now. And I just wanted to come on and say hi in case anyone missed me yesterday. Uh, the concert was amazing. The opening act was amazing. I'll probably talk more about that later. Um, I won a CD because um, the part of the opening act, the guitarist, um, did this like weird game with the audience of like, everyone name a, ma name a bird and, and I'll let you know if it's the one I'm thinking of. And so he went around the whole audience and everyone's saying like, you know, eagle and parrot and hawk and falcon and seagull. And like they're naming all these birds. And I'm like, duck, duck at the top of my lungs. No one heard me or anything. And so then everyone was just laughing and stuff. And a couple minutes went by and he's like, well, I didn't hear the answer of, you know, and he said, okay, now it's the honor system. You guys, did anyone out there say duck? And I was like, and my friend looked at me too, like, oh my God. So I raised my hand. And I kind of got like the stink eye from people around me because they also heard me say sparrow. Um, but I did say duck at least three times. And I have a loud voice when I want to yell. And he was like, congratulations, you get to win, you know, one of our CDs or whatever. Which is cool because a lot of times I don't like an opening act and I probably wouldn't buy a CD. But I had no money for the merch table at all. Um, I mean, even just to go there was a gift from Ruth. I love that woman. For my birthday. Um... But I would have bought a CD from Doe Par Par I can't say her last name. It's P-A-R-A-O, Pareo, Doe Pareo. And um, she looks like Stevie Nicks. She sounds like Stevie Nicks. She's gonna be in a Stevie Nicks biopic coming up that's in the in production. And we got to talk and we were talking about astrology and she was trying to guess my sign and I guessed her sign. Um, she's a Virgo and I said, that's why you've got such clear blue eyes. And um, it was cool, we just like hung out. And, and I bought, I didn't know which CD to get as the prize, but uh, I said, which one did you sing about um, how to be comfortable when you're uncomfortable? 
which to me is like the story of my life. So she told me which CD it was and I got it. So that was fun. And um, it had its strange moments too, but I mean, what doesn't, right? Like n nothing ever really goes where you picture it in your mind. Look at all, the, look at the mountain of laundry behind me. I'm gonna go guys, I love you. Thanks for listening to me prattle on. I hope you all enjoy your Friday, whatever it means. Um, and rest in peace, Grumpy Cat. Spirit animal to a lot of us, Grumpy Cats. She was only seven. She died of a UTI. Ugh. You'll notice I'm not talking about Chantal or Amber. I'm beyond disgusted. Like, I'm, I'm literally angry. I, I can't talk about it yet. I, I can't deal with people that are making their livings, being lying, gluttonous, mentally ill pigs. I have enough of my own issues. I have food issues. I su suffer from mental health problems. And I have an actual job. I'm not just talking on YouTube about my problems and not doing a damn thing about it while eating a shit ton of food and not calling it a mukbang. I said I wasn't going to talk about it. I'm not even going to say I wish them well. I just wish they'd get help. And I wish that YouTube would demonetize people who make a mockery out of actual eating disorders and people who are trying desperately to seek help and overcome it and not just come online with their rhetoric and their platitudes and their crocodile tears. I mean, Amber doesn't really cry because she's a freaking sociopathic narcissist and they don't tend to shed tears for anything. But um, all she's ever worried about is her next meal. But Chantel pretends to cry because we're supposed to feel so bad that she lied about, you know, not being a vegan. I never believed for a hot second she was a vegan. Ugh, I'm a liar myself. I said I wasn't gonna discuss those two train wrecks. I love you guys and I'll talk to you later. Peace out.